Hello, everyone, and I trust you're having a good day. Ever feel like you're smack in the middle of an overwhelming selfish chaos, desperately seeking ways to dismantle their authority and serve them a taste of their own medicine? Well, hang tight. I cut a surprise for you. Today's agenda involves diving into eight mind-bending strategies that'll send narcissists spiraling into sheer disbelief. Brace yourself. These self-absorbed individuals are in for an unforeseen shakeup. But wait. Before we plunge into the exhilarating details, ensure you smash that crucial subscribe button and activate the warning bell. Why, you ask? Because I'm cooking up a treasure trove of life-altering content. And trust me, you wouldn't want to skip a single upload. Here's the catch, though. Before we embark on this thrilling journey, a word of caution. If the narcissist in your life has inflicted physical harm or abuse, stop right here. Seek immediate assistance from the Domestic Abuse Center in your vicinity. Assuming that's not the case, brace yourself for these eight astounding concepts bound to completely throw off a narcissist. Ready to witness their pampered and apathetic egos go up in flames? Let's band together and collectively outmaneuver them. Navigating life with a narcissist might have you contemplating, how do I school them? How do I bring them to their knees or nearly push them off the edge? Today's feature unveils eight potent maneuvers to confound a narcissist beyond their wildest imagination. Clearly, these reactions weren't on the narcissist's radar. Remember to hit subscribe and activate the bell to stay tuned for my upcoming broadcasts. Delighted to have you on board if you're new here, but here's a crucial point to underline. Please, I implore you, refrain from implementing the advice in this video if the narcissist in your life has caused physical harm to you or others. In such cases, seeking aid from your local domestic abuse center is paramount. However, if that doesn't resonate with you, brace yourself for eight tactics set to destabilize a spoiled and heartless narcissist. Number one, narcissists thrive on attention and praise, akin to air vital for their fragile self-esteem. Their incessant need for ongoing approval consumes the energy of those around them. Negative attention becomes their addictive elixir, fostering a never-ending craving while ensnaring others in a trauma bond. For a narcissist, silence becomes a potent weapon. Their vulnerability lies in their inability to withstand invisibility. They would rather face disdain than be ignored. Merely employing the gray rock method proves insufficient. Complete avoidance, cutting off all contact, stands as the most effective strategy. When forced into interactions due to co-parenting or work obligations, minimizing contact becomes paramount. Treating them as though they are non-existent, ceasing communication, altering contact details, and rebuffing their attempts to re-engage ensures self-protection. The objective isn't retribution or imparting a lesson but self-preservation. Providing narcissists no openings to cause further harm is crucial as they exploit any opportunity granted. Number two, embracing change holds the key to altering the dynamics with narcissists. In relationships dominated by self-centered individuals, conventional resistance might seem confrontational. However, staying in such toxic dynamics nourishes their ego and perpetuates abuse. Effecting true change involves following suggestions from preceding advice. Narcissists abhor uncontrollable change. Stagnation perpetuates their control. Enduring toxic relationships fuels resentment and anger. The path to liberation involves disrupting the status quo. Transformation remains elusive if one remains entrenched. The primary aim isn't to agitate or provoke denial, but to break free from their tyranny. Sever the ties that bind. Number three, the aftermath of a Hoover dreaded in tumultuous relationships unveils the devaluation phase. A Hoover serves as a manipulative tactic employed by narcissists, luring victims back into their clutches, setting the stage for further harm. This cycle is familiar to those entangled with narcissists. Rejecting their Hoovers disrupts their schemes, throwing their calculated plans into disarray. Refusal to yield to their attempts destabilizes their control. It's a pivotal moment, a demonstration that their manipulative tactics no longer sway you. Turning down their entreaties signifies transcending their psychological web, resisting the allure of false remorse or reconciliation. This act shatters their illusion, revealing your resilience against their mind games and faux apologies. Turning down a Hoover represents a break from their psychological entrapment. Number four, refusing to engage in triangulation, a narcissist resorts to tactics aimed at instilling a sense of unworthiness in their target. This method often surfaces when dissatisfaction brews within the relationship, when they seek alternative sources of validation, 
or when re-entering the picture. They might convey dissatisfaction or claim to have found someone new, all while ensnaring the individual in their manipulative web. Fabricating tales of a desire to break up with a new partner, but being unable to proceed, is part of this manipulation. Triangulation involves pitting you against others, coercing you into vying for their affection, prompting futile changes in appearance or behavior to earn their favor. However, as highlighted in previous discussions, a narcissist remains indifferent to appearances, wealth, or achievements. Even drastic transformations cannot secure their genuine love or undivided attention. When discovering the narcissist's pursuit of new targets or ongoing affairs, the most empowering action is to refuse participation in their deceitful games and gracefully depart. By allowing them to seek their next source of validation, the game ceases. Exiting the stage with dignity severs their control. Their frustration stems from realizing they can no longer manipulate you. Number five, shedding emotional vulnerability becomes imperative for those subjected to narcissistic abuse. Victims often misinterpret the narcissist's apparent concern for their feelings, revealing their innermost fears, vulnerabilities, and disappointments, unaware that the narcissist exploits this using cognitive empathy. Instead of empathizing, the narcissist weaponizes these vulnerabilities to inflict deeper wounds. Transparent admissions of flaws become targets for intensified assaults on the areas causing the most pain. Furthermore, Perpetual emotional openness facilitates the narcissist's ability to ensnare their victim once more into their toxic grasp. The narcissist strategically utilizes gathered information to create an alluring vacuum after heated conflicts, manipulating the victim's emotional vulnerabilities. As previously emphasized, refusing their hoover is paramount. It dismantles their power, revealing immunity to their manipulative mind games. It communicates that their attempts hold no sway over your emotional state. Refusal to engage in these tactics marks a critical step towards reclaiming personal autonomy and emotional resilience. Number six, clarity about your desires is crucial when dealing with a narcissist. They endeavor to dismantle your sense of self, yet maintaining your clarity is paramount. In their pursuit to maintain control, they resort to manipulating your emotions and memories. Despite the allure of love bombing and cognitive empathy, these are mere tactics to stifle independent thinking. Narcissists dread the notion that you might recall life before their dominance, and any semblance of self-reliance unnerves them. To counter the narcissist's deceit, keeping a journal and confiding in a trusted loved one prove invaluable. These tools help prevent the distortion of reality and preserve your intuition. Maintaining unwavering focus irritates narcissists, and they employ all means to break this resolve. However, by holding fast to your truth, you equip yourself with the strength to combat their manipulative schemes. Number seven, exposing the narcissist's manipulation serves as a potent means to confront their tactics. Commence with subtle displays of tangible evidence, such as texts or discussions concerning narcissistic behavior. However, these initial steps lay the groundwork for a larger revelation. Instead of direct confrontation, showcase your awareness of their facade through actions. Refrain from being ensnared in meaningless debates or their narcissistic vortex. When attempts are made to divert attention from their behavior, swiftly disengage. Your actions will eloquently convey your insight without direct confrontation. Number eight, prepare for verbal assault from the narcissist, disparaging you with hurtful words aimed at demeaning your worth. Amidst this, they expect gratitude for their mere presence. Succumbing to such abuse can severely impact mental health. However, there's a strategic approach to counter them. Refuse to engage when they start hurling insults. Maintain composure without showing distress. Politely exit the room big conversation. This unexpected response will infuriate the narcissist, leading to continued insults in hopes of eliciting a reaction. Resist falling prey to their tactics. Don't internalize their hurtful words, denying them the satisfaction of evoking your anger. Employ tactics akin to jujitsu. This sudden shift in behavior weakens their hold, signaling your victory. Number nine, disengaging from a toxic relationship can be vital for your well-being, especially with a narcissist. Attempts to outsmart, argue, or retaliate often strengthen their resolve to manipulate and control. Their adeptness at playing mind games can make us appear as the irrational ones, while they continue their manipulations unchecked. Prioritizing our health and ending such unhealthy relationships is key to reclaiming our power. For narcissists, 
And where departure signifies a loss of control, which deeply affects them. Walking away may trigger guilt or pity, but it's crucial to recognize these emotions as implanted by the narcissist, aiming to keep us entangled. Staying in such relationships takes a toll on our emotional and mental well-being. Choosing ourselves and enforcing a strict no-contact policy becomes imperative to break free from this cycle. Ending this toxic loop is essential for our healing and growth. Seeking support and guidance on this journey can be beneficial. There are resources available to assist in this healing process. Remember, the decision to depart is about our safety, not about anger or spitefulness. Thank you for staying till the end. Take care and see you next time.